Good afternoon, everyone. Today, I am going to make a spring roll. So, follow me. Let's do this spring roll through the way. And uh, I will show you all the ingredients for my spring roll or uh, lumpia in Tagalog. So, follow me. Let's make a lumpia or spring roll. So, our ingredients for today for the spring roll or lumpia, bean sprout, that's the one, looks like it, bean sprout, green beans, carrot, spring onions, a little bit of celery, two stick of celery, white onions and red onions, and two pound of ground pork, or you can add more if you want, and black pepper, onions, garlic, and soy sauce. Or you can add a little bit of salt if you want. So, we're gonna start to chop this ingredients. And also, before I forget, the lumpia wrapper or spring roll wrapper. I will show you, let me get it. I put in the freezer because you don't want the wrapper melting or disintegrate and it won't be spring roll without this wrapper so you need this wrapper too you can buy this at Asian store or any oriental store in their freezer Okay, let's do the chopping, cutting the vegetables. Let's start cutting our ingredients. And let's see. This is about two pounds of bean sprout. I'm gonna put it over here. I have to separate because my daughter don't eat meat, so I had to make without meat and with meat. Yeah. I already washed my hands, so let's put it over here. So this is the one without the meat. I have to add the rest of the ingredients. So let's let's cut all these ingredients we just cut the like long I have to divide. and now we have to cut this uh, green beans in pieces you cut it like this Cut it like that, small pieces. So it will cook easily. Ingredients. And see you in a little bit after I'm done cutting the ingredients for spring roll or lumpia. In the Philippines, lumpia, we call it uh, lumpia. But over here, people call it spring roll. Okay? But it, different places, they call different names. But in our, uh, in our, language they we call it lumpia and uh, you can put any ingredients if you want it depends where you want to put it in ingredients but you can choose any ingredients you want for your lumpia wrapper but uh, in my culture we put uh, bean sprout we put we don't put uh, peppers because the peppers it gets soggy and it, your spring roll gets easy to spoiled so Try to avoid not to put the peppers in your spring roll. And a lot of people, they put cabbage. You can put cabbage if you like cabbage. But in my spring roll, I don't like to put cabbage. I just like uh, green beans, carrots, leeks, or spring roll, and onions in um, the meat. Now I'm back. Now I'm done cutting my ingredients. So this is the green beans that's already cut. That's the bean sprout. That's the 
spring onions, white onions, two stick of celery and white heads of spring onions, red onions, and carrots. This is the bean sprout. And uh, let's put the ingredients. Green beans. It's like a whole bag of green beans. It's up to you how much you're going to make. So you can adjust your... If you want to make a lot, then you can use a lot of ingredients. Going to use a little bit, then finish a little bit, and let's put all the ingredients together. Let's put this together, everything together. And let's flavor it. I know this is a lot. Separate this one. This is two pounds ground pork. So let's flavor this one. Put black pepper. I put black pepper over here. Onion powder. I already have a slice of onion here, but I still put onion powder. And garlic. Let's put some garlic here. Half a tablespoon. And the soy sauce. You have to flavor it according to your taste buds. My hands though, mix it. You have to use your hands. Make sure your hands are nice and clean. You can put all the meat only, <laughs> but it's not gonna be cold lumpia or spring roll if if they're all meat only. I'm gonna use different. Excuse me. I'm gonna use this bamboo. Bamboo spoon. I might transfer this into the deeper one. I don't know which one is deeper, but I think this one is a lot deeper, so I can use I can use this one and uh, mix everything. Uh, this transfer it and uh, and I can transfer the ingredients over here. It's easy to mix it when when they're in the big bowl, so it will incorporate all the flavors, all the ingredients. So it's nice. So just see. This one, I'm gonna wipe this one, stand it dirty. Yeah. Wow. 
So now, let's mix it, and I, I'm sure I'm going to add more flavor with this one because I don't think this is enough flavor. So, and I know it looks like a lot, but it's not because I keep putting soy sauce, but it's not because this is a lot of spring roll that I'm making. So, I'm going to use my hands to combine everything. So, I will incorporate all my the ingredients. Now, let's put the cornstarch to bind. I'm going to use this like that. I gotta mix it with the water, a little bit of water. And then add to the and mix it to the So uh, I already washed my hand, so I'm going to use my hand to mix it. So it will be, the cornstarch will bind all the ingredients. So, so this is good, ready to wrap. And I'm going to mix the other one. The be so this is good, and that's ready to wrap. So this is the finish, not fi not cooked yet, but all the ingredients and I mix it together. So, so now, I have to wrap all the stuff. I have to wrap the spring roll. I have these two packs. I'm going to use two packs. I'm going to use this chopping board to put put my stuff in there. Use this one to put my spring roll. Spring roll that's already wrapped. Okay, just put it over there. Here. Okay. Let's do this. I'm gonna put this over here uh, to make the You have to use corn uh, starch to make sure that your wrapper will stick. So sometimes it will pop at the end, the end of when you're uh, wrapping it. So. It's like an egg wash, but this one is a this one. So let's I'm gonna start wrapping. It depends how big you want it. Well, not too big because it's gonna pop you in the wrapper. So, just like this, roll it like that. Fold the end and fold the other end and roll. And then 
you have to put some starts at the end so it doesn't pop like that like this it's not even bind it yeah so there's one like that that's how you wrap it okay I'm back again I'm done wrapping my spring roll and here the finished product after I'm wrapping it now we had to fry it okay okay let's fry it this oil is already hot so I'm gonna turn it on again so this is really hot Let's fry it. There you go. You have to put it slowly. You don't want to splash the oil to your hand or arm, so you don't want to burn your finger. Don't get your pan crowded. So it will cook evenly and easily. Like that. Like that. And there's the finish. That. So. Let's wait until golden brown and then you flip on the other side. Now it's golden brown already. Look at that. It's almost ready to take it out from the frying pan. Okay. It's like a so this is cooked. So we're gonna no. Gonna pull it out from the from the pan. So it's very nice. Very nice. Now take the excess pieces. Remove it. have to cook them like this this is already cooked that's the first batch and this is the second batch and there's more so I will show you when I'm done when I'm done everything uh, see you in a while I hope that you will try this at home and you can use this as an appetizer for your guests or just the picnic or anything at home that you, when you want to have some friends coming over and you can have this spring roll and watch some movie enjoy everybody's company so I hope that you try this at home or you can try any ingredients you want to put in your spring rolls or lumpia and uh, just experiment but in my country we always eat lumpia all the time so for us this is not new for us but uh, I know a lot of people they're curious about cultures and uh, about food so uh, that's why I'm trying to show you how we make lumpia or spring rolls over here
So I hope for two, you try this at home. Then see you in a little bit after I'm done and put it in the plate and show you the finished product. Okay, here's the finished product of the spring roll. This is the mid spring roll. Look at that. And this is the meatless spring rolls. Look, <coughs> this one. That's the meatless one. And this is the regular with meat. So, enjoy eating your spring roll because I'm gonna eat one. Mmm. Mmm. Good. So, I hope you try this at home. And thank you for watching. I hope you will subscribe my channel, Abby Lynn's Kitchen. It's spelled capital A. B I and capital L I N apostrophe S kitchen. So I hope you subscribe my channel and like it, share, and hit the notification button so it keeps you updated with all my vlogs. Thank you very much. I hope I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.